uh, if uh, anybody would like to talk to any one of us a little bit more in detail, uh, following the questions will be available for that. And, uh, and again, I want to emphasize with regard to Mr. Mankin's case, uh, the, uh, the company that drilled there disputes that it had any impact on the water. It's a typical uh, uh, response of what you see in uh, Pennsylvania or other parts of the country. Uh, and these cases are heavily litigated and fought. Uh, the unfortunate part is homeowners are generally uh, left hanging because they cannot afford the experts uh, to prove their case and have to uh, um, uh, uh, move forward uh, with just what sometimes the, the companies uh, offer them to, to try to solve some of this and then sign some confidentiality agreements at times uh, that's been exposed in, in many reports out there. But at this time, uh, Jack and Mark and I are available for any questions. Senator Stingel, um, have you had a chance to look at any of the other states that are doing um, shell drilling? And I, I bring this up because uh, Governor of Pennsylvania, Corbett, made an executive order uh, to have a commission that would take the emotion and the desire for profit out of the decision making and have it based on science. And they've come up with best practices recommendations for fracking near Master Marsalis uh, shale. Um, have you, or, and also, have you spoken with the governor about a similar type of an executive order that would, you know, look at the cost benefit versus the Generation of natural resources. Yes. Yeah. My experience is that uh, um, the executive branch is not open to um, um, working uh, in a bipartisan manner on this. I uh, have not reached out whatsoever, uh, or the majority party has not reached out whatsoever. When I brought forward a whole slew of wonderful and good ideas um, in um, the committee process when we were talking about the oil and gas drilling in our state parks. Many of the amendments I brought forward covered this area, and uh, each and every one was, was turned down. And uh, I had even gotten a commitment in the Finance Committee from one of the directors about uh, ensuring uh, bans in certain areas, and, and those amendments were turned down even when we had agreement in the committee level on that, and, and it has not been But as to other states, uh, uh, I strongly encourage uh, uh, this administration and others to uh, and the majority party to look at what other states are doing in Pennsylvania. Very similar uh, studies going on in New York. In the state of Louisiana, uh, they are uh, uh, about to bring forward, and I think it, actually the, there's emergency regulations in the state of Louisiana that one discloses the chemicals and then also discloses a lot more on the drilling practices. Right now, uh, uh, the response that I have gotten from the majority party uh, at all on any legislation is that uh, the legislation passed in the last general assembly that deals with oil and gas deals with this fine. Anything else they'll, they'll deal with internally. Um, Once the, the chemicals are disclosed, I mean, so they're disclosed. If you have a dispute about a particular chemical, or then what? Well, we at least know. Uh, my bill also requires water testing, so uh, uh, initial water testing and, and after water testing, so we know what's uh, going into the water. Uh, and if these companies are culpable, uh, they'll be held uh, culpable, even if not uh, uh, through the regulatory process, through the civil process, the civil judiciary process. If we get information to the residents and the citizens uh, uh, and, and get that out in the public, uh, we'll hold them accountable, even in the civil uh, side of our judiciary. Other questions? Senator, the uh, EPA study, my understanding is that's in its first year, so if you wanted to have a moratorium on that until it was completed, that'd be like an effective two year? Uh, approximately right? two years, uh, with, uh, uh, as my understanding too, there's going to be a, a preliminary uh, uh, findings, as you see in many of these studies, uh, a little bit earlier than that. Um, and that might give us some guidance, but uh, it would be a two-year uh, moratorium from this point, unless they finish it earlier. With all the activity that's been going on, as uh, you referred to it, the black gold rush, do you expect any chance that this kind of a moratorium, banning fracking for two years, would go through? Well, uh, my understanding is Governor Christie thought it was uh, appropriate, and uh, also the um, um, state government in the state of New York thought it appropriate to have a moratorium uh, while these studies go forward. Um, so I, uh, uh, 
I, I again would encourage uh, that. I, I am pleased to uh, say that uh, the moratorium bill, Senate Bill 213, is a bipartisan bill. Uh, Senator uh, Tim Grindell has joined uh, uh, on this bill, and uh, I hope to uh, be working with him as I we worked in the past on uh, oil and gas drilling uh, issues in the past um, uh, in trying to, to build support for this. The ODNR director has been shifted over to Jobs Ohio's energy director. That was announced just before we came in here. Um, to Karen's point, I mean, is that, that seems to be a reflection that things are moving full speed ahead from an administrative point of view. How do this, you do it? I also saw the, uh, that, uh, so several things going on. The governor's holding uh, this uh, conference, this energy conference, uh, what, September 21st and 22nd uh, up in Cleveland, I understand. Or is it down here? And uh, a major topic is the Marcellus Shale and, and the gas, uh, the shale gas opportunities here in the state of Ohio, uh, with some also, some additional emphasis, not emphasis, but some discussion on, on other energy production, anywhere from nuclear to uh, uh, renewable energy. Uh, I share the governor's goal on trying to use energy, the development of energy in the state of Ohio, to create jobs, and I think it's an admirable goal. Uh, we, we, there is a difference of, of opinion. I believe that we should uh, focus on long-term sustainable energy resources, uh, such as the renewables, and there's less emphasis um, on those uh, 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 recently and in this administration, and I, I, my belief is if we would develop that wind industry uh, off the, the shores of Lake Erie, it actually would build a strong manufacturing base uh, for wind turbines in, in the Midwest and, and uh, potentially uh, the entire uh, northeast of, of the United States. Right now, it seems like other areas from Germany and other states here in the U.S. Uh, are, are gaining those jobs. Uh, where we're lagging behind. Um, natural gas is not a sustainable energy source. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, finite, uh, limited, and uh, it appears that uh, it poses uh, health and environmental uh, risks uh, in extracting it. And uh, we should look at those carefully. Do you think horizontal fracking is safe? I'm not a scientist. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I'd like to see uh, it studied. I'd like to see if we could do it in a safe way. Uh, and when we're talking about safe, I'm talking about uh, uh, safe uh, for air and water and safe uh, uh, for the people um, that live in those where fracking will occur. Mr. Megan, you said your situation is under investigation. Uh, who's investigating it? And uh, you know, what's the process there? Um, they actually formed a team. Right now, Jim Mankin from the Ohio Inspector General's Office is in charge um, with the FBI and the federal EPA. And do you have any sense of when that might be concluded and what happens? I have no clue. But they told me it's a, it takes years. Are you uh, considering litigation or anything like that? Um, we actually did, and um, they made a motion because we couldn't afford all the the professionals' opinions on it. It was like $45,000. And we don't have that kind of money. So we had to um, dismiss our case. I mean, we have what I believe to be the proof of what happened. But um, we're not allowed to admit it in court because we're not professionals. So um, we dismissed it. And the industry, actually, uh, the German leaser sued us trying to make us, um, how can I put it, when we dismissed the case, it, it was done in such a way that we could refile, and they wanted it totally dismissed, so they wound up suing us, but they lost. Okay. Uh, have any neighboring wells been had problems, or is it just yours? Um, our next door neighbor, the blocks is, um, most of the wells in our area are anywhere from 30 to 120 feet deep, um, and none of them were affected at all. Um, and how deep is yours? Ours is 245 feet deep. Okay. Neighbors. The neighbors is 240. Mm -hmm. um, and if you looked in the Bainbridge incident, most of the wells that were affected there were also at that depth. Do you 
and, and maybe this is just too technical a question for you, but I'm just curious. Do you think that the the drilling, that the way the well was constructed, because you mentioned cement being in your water at one point. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the way that the well was constructed is, is the issue, or the actual fracking somehow got into your water table? Um, my personal opinion on, on ours is that the way the well was constructed, I believe they drilled right through our aquifer. Um, the ODNR inspector that was there actually made a comment that when they drilled it, they had a geyser, that the water was shooting up out of the ground. Um, so I believe they drilled right into our aquifer. And if you have that kind of water pressure, you cement it in, your cement's not gonna hold. You're gonna have too much water. Um, as far as the fracking issue goes, I don't know if any of you have watched the movie Gasland. Um, there was a gentleman in, it, in the movie Gasland that actually took a torch to his water and you see this water start to swirl and this black stuff start to go to the top. And he said that was fracking fluid. Now I don't know if that's true or not, but that's in our water. I have a question for either Jack or both. Um, you know, I've been in Again, very reasonable idea to time out until the United States EPA study is done. 